With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. The question given is: DNA content in a myocyte at G2 phase is 40 picogram. What would be the DNA content after meiosis II in the daughter cells? So this G2 phase is also known as the preparatory phase where the cells do not divide. So this stage is before the cell division stage occurs. And here the cells, they, they prepare for the division stage, but they do not divide. So the DNA content that is present here is that of the original parent cell. So in G2, it is 40 picogram. So after G2 phase in meiosis, the meiosis occurs and meiosis is divided into two phases. At first there is meiosis 1 and then there is meiosis 2. So we know that meiosis is the process of cell division where egg cells or gametes are formed. So in meiosis from one parent cell, four daughter cells are produced and the chromosomes they are equally divided in the daughter cells. So at the end of the meiosis 1, the DNA content it remains intact. So after meiosis 1, there is no change in DNA content. So after meiosis 1, the DNA remains as it remains unchanged. So it is 40 picogram. But after the end of meiosis 2, the DNA it is halved. So halved from the original daughter cell. So as the DNA becomes half. As originally it was 40 picograms, so the daughter cells they will have 20 picograms of DNA. So if we see our options here, this first option 20 picogram, this is the right option. It is here DNA material is only divided one time, whereas the cells they divide two times. So the chromosome number here will be each cell will have 10 chromosomes, so n will be equal to 10 here. So the right option for DNA content is 20 picogram if the DNA was 40 picogram in G2. I hope this solves your doubt. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.